Okay, hello and welcome to another episode of the Let's Play Live Track 2. In the last episode, we did some storyline stuff regarding uh, us getting to the next area, and we have to uh, take down some uh, security panels on uh, the security bot. We had, to, well, we had to take down security control on security bot panels, and we also had to deal with uh, some big daddies. And I didn't know you could hack these mini trolls, I thought, I thought that was really funny. Yeah, it, it, it is pretty, it's pretty cool, but he destroys them like the second you hack them, so it really doesn't matter. Yeah. Um, really, ultimately, it neither hurt, hurt us nor helped us, really. So, uh, you can either hack them if you want or ignore them. Yeah, because, I, mean, I mean, they help, but they're, I mean, they're not great. Um, and uh, I, I was trying to use the security bots to help us uh, with, um, but with fighting this guy, but he, he destroys the security bots pretty, uh, pretty easily, so. I mean, they're, they're just good for have. they're just good to have, because, I mean, yeah, they do do damage, so. And I probably should have set up more traps, because I didn't know how to rock and launch with, uh, that proximity by intent, so. Uh, it, it's, it's, it's fine. Yeah, it's just, I would just look at your weapon before you started a fight with the big daddy. Yeah, it's just, definitely. It's definitely a good idea before you just jump into something, especially if you like don't have uh, any ammo or things like that. You want to make sure you're prepared and have like traps and things such as security bots because they are kind of big and bulky and kind of hard to take down. And if you want to stay alive, it, you know, be advised. Yeah, believe me. There, there was a lot of times I wanted to play it's completely unprepared and it was not fun. And uh, we just harvested the... Uh, one of the last little sisters of this game, there's only three left, we, er, now two left that we had to do. There's only three total in this area. So, we're, we're almost done yeah. with, uh, little sisters. And there, there's also an achievement for, um, dealing with every little sister in the game. You don't have to save them, you don't have to harvest them, you do either or, you just have to deal with all of them. Because, yeah. I mean, the, the big daddies are an option throughout this entire game, but, I mean... You know, you want Adam. Yeah, you, you absolutely. The big big daddies are an option, but in reality, they kind of are. Yeah. Um, you really want to get all the little sisters. Um, you actually, it'd probably be a better idea to, uh, if you're gonna harvest them, to adopt them first and run around with them a little bit. If you don't, if you're not planning on getting any more big sisters, but um, or just send them on the way. Yeah, I, I was I was thinking about like um. Like, say you adopted a little sister and then you took it around um, cool. to, the, to the bodies to harvest Adam, and then when you went to the to the um, like the event that you saved it in, where you harvested it, because then you get Adam from the bodies that the little sister harvested, and then you get Adam from harvesting the little sister. So, I don't know if that's a way to get more. I mean, I guess it would be. Yeah, or that would make maybe make more or would it ultimately come out to be less than saving a little sister anyway? Yeah. So it's just a all big mystery. <laughs> but the the thing that annoyed me in this one was uh that in the last one, um <clears throat> like there was a constant uh the 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 tenant bomb. She always like pressured you to save them and I would I would save them anyway in a in Bioshock one. But Tenenbaum wasn't in this game at all, which kind of annoyed me, because she, she was like the ones that took care of the little sisters. So, I don't know, I, j I just thought that was annoying, because, you know, you think that, um, you think that she would ha at least have some part of the game, uh, you know, because, uh, because, I mean, little sisters are obviously going to be in every Bioshock, and uh, if there's another one. I, lo I love this possessed, uh, like, uh, vending machine. It's pretty, pretty scary. Not really. But, I mean... I don't really know if she would really have like a part that she would be able to go into because you're a big daddy now. So yeah, that's you're true. really not saving them as much as just contributing to the system. So I don't know if she really would have a part. Yeah, that's true. But I'm curious to see how um this ends because uh like when you're um uh, spoiler alert just to let you know. And, um, like, when I played through this the first time, I saved all the little sisters, and at the very end, you need, um, little sisters to help you get out. And I, I thought it was the ones that you saved, so I'm, I'm curious to see how, uh... You get out without them. Yeah, or if it's just, you know, other little sisters, I don't know. So I'm curious to see that. And then right here, I'm just, uh, you know, just set up a plan there, because you'll be fighting, uh, some splicers, and then, uh, Alpha Series Big Daddy, so... 
I just want to set up a planner, put some proximity mines down, mm -mm, uh, proximity mines, and uh, too many turrets, you know, just nothing, nothing crazy. Nothing fancy. Yeah. By the way, this was a really cool part in this game when uh, this happened. Uh, I, I thought it was pretty cool. Yeah, just the, this entire area is probably like one of my favorite uh, scenes in Bioshock. Although I liked in Bioshock 1, um, I forget what the place was called, but it was uh, Sandra Coheen. That place was cool. That, that was probably my favorite place in Bioshock 1. So uh, I like the weapons better in Bioshock 2 uh, than in Bioshock 1. The weapons obviously are more powerful in this one just because you're a big daddy. And then uh, the weapons in Bioshock 1 you uh, you can get in Bioshock 2 for the uh, multiplayer. Like all the all the weapons that are in multiplayer are the weapons from Bioshock 1, I believe. It's still I, I think they could have done a better job to drill because that would have been pretty cool if they made it at least like a little more powerful or something. Yeah. It's just it's it's extremely weak of a weapon. And it was like so cool in the first one when you first saw Big Daddies because they were like lunging at people at like high speeds for some reason. Yeah, you and just like completely drilling the guts out of people. <laughs> so you thought it was awesome. And then you get to this game and you're like, what? Yeah, yeah, like, like you, you do get the dash ability with the drill that lets you land with people, but outside of that, it's you know, it's not that great. I mean, it's a melee weapon in a in a shooter game. It's it's like any other. You know, weapon. But yeah, but it just it was disappointing to me. Yeah, I I definitely agree. It wasn't as great as uh, they could have made it, but you know, if you look at it like you know, what else could they have done? With it? Yeah, uh, but it, it's like one of those things. Right? I find that a lot with Bioshock. Like like you're you're disappointed about something, but then you, you think that, like, they couldn't have done a lot of things with it, like, and, you know, when, in this one, when you go outside in the water, like, I was disappointed because he, all you used it for was travel, but if you think about it, what else could they have used it for? So. Yeah. I mean, it would have been kind of cool if it was just, like, it, while you're in the water or something, like, freaky going on. Yeah, something like, like that. something like that. Like, Bioshock, it's, it's, Creepy, it's eerie, it's not scary. There's there's a fine line between scariness and just being creepy. Because the last thing, at some point, it would be kind of scary because it would be like you'd see someone, the lights go off, and you wouldn't know where they were. Oh my god, <laughs> yeah. Bi that Bioshock, would be. Bioshock 1 was a lot scarier. Not that it was too scary to begin with, but Bioshock 1 was. They did have some scary scenes. Yeah. I mean, it, it was. Um, but I mean, like this one swaps is scary, but like we cool and like almost insane towards the end, which is sick, and that is, and it's really cool. It's just it does lack here aspect because you are a big daddy. Yeah. So I mean, because like in the um, which part? I don't know. In, in the last one, I guess. Well, yeah, that, that's a good point. Like in this one, you're a um, big daddy, and then the last one, you were just a human. So I guess they could have done more with the. Uh, you know, you just being a human because you, you obviously you, you probably felt more defenseless as a human rather as a big daddy rather than as a big daddy. Like when you're a big daddy, you, you know you feel um you know you have more power. So I don't know, but uh, I don't know. The the first one was a great game. I I, yeah. I definitely suggest playing both of them. Cause yeah. like the the first one was scarier, but the second one had a lot more action in it and it was um not more fun to play, but it was just uh, some of the fights even before. Yeah, so. absolutely, but, I mean, it was just, it was just pretty cool. I mean, maybe not even just the fight scenes, just the scenes that, where it would just uh, almost, like, freak you out about it, because there'd be, like, a, like a shadow or something, but no one there, Yeah, or, like, things like that, that just... Yeah, that happened a lot in Bioshock 1. It didn't happen so much here. Yeah, and like I, like I said, like, in Bioshock 1, this happened a lot, where, uh, you see the splice, you would see a splicer laying down, you think it was dead, and then it would hop up and try to kill you. And that really didn't happen all too much in Bioshock 2, which I uh, I was kind of disappointed about because it was kind of scary in Bioshock 1. But I don't know. And uh, we still we still got time. <laughs> but uh, we got uh yeah here's the last um radio thing that we got to shut down, and we're just saving that for uh, next episode. Yeah. And here we get drunk on uh whatever was lying around, and it just made your vision blurry. I think it might take away some of your uh, Eve, so I wouldn't um, suggest it. Yeah, but the, I believe there's a tonic for you to uh, uh, not do that. So, all right, we'll work on that time. We'll see you guys next. Episode. See. Ya.